Today we're making the mango habanero salmon cinnamon roll. Start with a beautiful piece of salmon and remove the skin. This was about five pounds. In my opinion, this is the most beautiful fish there is. All of that marbling is gonna keep it nice and juicy. No need to overcomplicate the brine, season as you normally would with salt and add 50% more. Then add two times the salt amount of brown sugar. Rub that in on both sides. Brine overnight in the fridge. The next day, you'll notice some moisture has released and this is completely normal. Gently rinse under cold water and pat extremely dry. After a brine, I always like to test for salt content, so I slice off a piece and cook it up. You can always give it a soak in case it's too salty. Perfect. A little bit sweet, a little bit salty, but not overpowering. Good to go. Let that rest uncovered in the fridge for another four hours. This is gonna help develop the pellicle, a nice tacky exterior to help with smoke absorption. Season with garlic powder, black pepper, and chili flakes. Avoid seasoning with more salt. This would bring unwanted moisture to the surface. Now, our cream cheese filling. Lemon, crisp jalapenos, some super flavorful capers, fresh parsley, and our cream cheese. Add your favorite barbecue rub, and give it a mix. On its own, this is a phenomenal dip. On the skin side of the salmon, start to spread. Take your time and focus on a nice even coat. Starting at the tail end, start to roll it up. It should be snug, but not too tight that the filling falls out of the sides. Cut your slices about two to three inches thick and admire that cross section. Get to work on your bed of citrus. Any citrus works great. I love the brightness and colors that all of these varieties have to offer. Salmon and citrus, let's hit the grill. Smoke at 225 degrees Fahrenheit using a nice mild wood like apple or alder. And begin laying out your bed of citrus. This is gonna prevent your fish from sticking and also add some wonderful citrusy notes. To me, citrus is nature's best example of colors and art. Finally, it's time to tuck that salmon in. It's nap time. To get started on our glaze, it's time to crisp up some homemade bacon. Cook at a relatively low heat as they start to develop some color. Pour out most of the oil, and it's time to make some candied bacon. Maple, brown sugar, and we're kicking it up with some sriracha. I give you sriracha glazed candied bacon with a flavor and texture everybody needs to try at least once. Next, a fresh habanero. Chop fine and be very careful with what you touch next. This stuff is spicy. Get started on your beautiful mango. 
Salmon and mango complement each other so perfectly. Chop it fine until you're pretty much close to a paste. Combine, add some maple, and a beautiful squeeze of fresh grapefruit. Let that come together until it cooks down a bit. Add your candied bacon. It's tempting to eat this on its own, but we're on the home stretch. Once your salmon has hit 115 to 120 internal, start to glaze. Evenly distribute so that every piece gets its fair share. These things already look great, but the glossy exterior that 15 more minutes on the grill is going to make is worth it. Pull just shy of 130, and here we go. Finish with grapefruit zest and pour a glass. Smoky, sweet heat, pure bliss. All right, so we just finished up and this thing looks unbelievable. Just to recap, we started with a beautiful side of salmon, brined that overnight, made a really nice cream cheese filling, made our glaze, you know, fresh habanero, fresh mango, that candied bacon with sriracha, a little sweet, a little bit spicy. Put that all together, smoked it low and slow, finished it off with some zest and it just looks so, so good. I'm going for the bite. Wow. Mmm, wow, that came out so, so good. Starting with that salmon, super flaky. Because we brined it, it was also really, really moist. It retained a lot of that water. A little bit sweet, a little bit salty. Then moving on to that cream cheese filling, it really added a, a super nice creamy texture across the whole thing. That lemon in there really brightened it up and you had the spiciness of the jalapenos. Finally, that glaze just brought the whole dish together and really took it to the next level. We had that candied bacon, which was chewy, a little bit crunchy, salty, sweet, because it's candied bacon, but then adding that sriracha, a whole new element to candied bacon, and I'm definitely doing that again. Then to finish off that glaze, that fresh grapefruit juice, a little bit sour, really balancing out all the sweet components of the dish. You know, we had the maple syrup, the brown sugar, that candied bacon, and together it just worked so perfectly. So with this dish, there was two primary components. We had the sweet elements and the spicy elements. And what I love about this is that even in the sweet department or in the spicy side, we were incorporating multiple angles. So on the spicy side, we had three elements. We had that fresh habanero, that really nice sriracha that cooked down with the bacon, um, and those dried chili flakes. And using you know fresh, a sauce, dried, we're really hitting it from multiple perspectives. When you're getting that spicy flavor, it hits you in waves and it's just balanced out across the dish. So then on the sweet side, incorporating something like mango on top of your traditional brown sugar and maple syrup, you get those natural sweet flavors, you get a little bit of texture and really just balances the whole thing out. And then we cook this salmon on a bed of citrus and this is my absolute favorite technique. Not only do you prevent the salmon from sticking, but you get those nice flavors kind of coursing through the salmon as it's cooking, as it's steaming, and it also just visually looks so beautiful on the grill. With this recipe, there is so much going on and there's a lot of room for flexibility. So I totally encourage you to make this your own, whether it's changing up the toppings, you know, changing up what's inside the filling, as long as you brine it correctly with the right salt content, the right sugar content, you know, use some really nice clean smoke, even baking it works totally fine. 
you know, cooking it to the right internal temperature, you're going to have a fantastic final product. Um, I finished this with a little bit of grapefruit zest that really added a vibrance that you, you can't beat. You really can't find anywhere else. And I really hope this has inspired you to make this at home or make something similar. If you do, I'd really love if you send me your feedback, send me your pictures. Let's get the conversation going. I truly love this dish and I know you will too. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed this content. If you did, be sure to subscribe, give me a like, and I'll see you next time.